Uh, good morning, members. Just a wee live update from our course manager, Aaron Small, Greenkeeper of the Year 2023. We're just getting a wee update of what Aaron and his team have been doing um, during the week and the upcoming months ahead. We're going to talk a wee bit about the why we do maintenance on a Tuesday and what can the members do to help their course moving forward. Good morning, Aaron. Morning everyone. Um, this week has been a good week. There was a wee bit of rain during the middle of the week, um, but it settled down a good bit. The temperature has picked up uh, a wee bit of a frost this morning, but this week we have concentrated on lowering the heights of cuts. So the greens have been lowered a wee bit, the fairways have been lowered, the tees and the aprons, everything's been fertilised. So that's really us putting a programme in place for the start of the season. So we can really make it look more like a golf course and define the edges more. Um, it'll be a lot more playable, the surfaces will have a lot more grass on them. So I'm very happy with the golf course, how we've come out of the winter. It's been a poor enough winter, but we have plenty of grass around the place. And that's due to rope management. Um, swapping the two nines is great for the golf course. With the winter league only being nine, a lot of people only play nine holes. So there's a lot of grass around the golf course. Last um, spring, it was dry and cold. Now it's sort of wet and a wee bit warmer. We would rather have this spring where we can produce a wee bit of grass. So hopefully the qualifying competitions will start a wee bit earlier. Last year it was the 25th of April, so we're dependent on the weather of how that goes, but we'll try our best to get qualifying in operation. And if you're playing this weekend, you'll definitely see a noticeable difference on the golf course of how it looks. That's, that's a good update, Aaron. And the team are doing a great job. We can see from the 10th, you can see a small bit of definition here coming through already. So. Well done to the team. So the next item on the agenda, as they would say here in Beaver, why do we do maintenance on a Tuesday? Well, the reason why a Tuesday's picked is because nearly everything in the golf course is cut on a Thursday and a Friday. So if we came in and did maintenance on a Monday, the golf course would be left, the rest of the course, the fairways, the tees, the aprons, so we can't keep on top of it. So Monday's really our worst day for us for cutting because everything has grown over the weekend. So we cut everything on a Monday and that gives us the opportunity on a Tuesday morning to sand the greens or scarify the greens. Uh, whatever we feel at the time is most beneficial. So really for once a month, for the course being closed two hours or two and a half hours, this is such a beneficial thing for the golf course and in turn that's for the members so i know it's a wee bit annoying for the people playing on a tuesday morning but in the whole the bigger picture it's fantastic for everyone really and it's made a big difference to the greens i feel we're we're keeping a wee bit higher on the height of cut and still maintaining the same speeds so that's um the plant's health is far better and as i say it, it is fantastic for the whole golf course this uh small bit of pain for definitely gain. Thanks, so, thanks very much for that to the members for um, supporting us. Thanks Aaron again and have you any tips for the members how they can actually help you and the team uh, protect their course moving forward for the summertime? Yeah well um, I've worked at five golf courses now and I have to say the members of Beaver are um, very good to the golf course I would say. Uh, the divot bags are well used. Now we're waiting on divot bags, so the mats are obviously off. So the divot bags are coming in about another week or 10 days. They'll go out. So at the minute, just please be sure to get your divot. Uh, fix your pitch marks in the greens. It's all the standard stuff. I shouldn't really have to be saying it, but obviously you have to keep reminding the members, your divots, your bunkers, um, your pitch marks. Basically leave the golf course how you would like to find it yourself. And all this will help in your golf course. It's not for me or the greenkeeping team. We don't play it. We want the best for yourselves. And the more that you can do to help the golf course, the better it will be for everyone. Thank you. Thanks again, Aaron. We'll probably do this next Friday again with a wee small update. And uh, thanks again and well done to the team. Okay, thank you.